product of sum simplification use sum of product simplification on the zeros of the function in the k map to get f complement so uh, so up to now we have seen how to represent sum of products but if you want to represent uh, that is uh, max terms okay then you have to represent them with zeros okay and the resultant expression that we get is f complement find the complement of f complement that is f complement whole complement equals to f okay so what we have to do is we have to go with taking the duality as well as complementing each literal or you may have to use the de morgan's theorem let us take an example how to generate a product term of sums from a k map use duality of boolean algebra or as de morgan law look at zeros in the map instead of ones up to now we have uh, we have gone with the groupings of ones but from now we have to go with the groupings of zeros for finding out the max terms okay and generate blocks around zeros which will gives us inverse of a function use duality to generate product of sums these are the three steps which we have to follow for realizing an expression or for reducing the expression okay so take an example here one particular uh, function okay and here this is plotted on the k map and i have got or uh, this will give uh, gives us the f complement which is nothing but ab plus cd plus b d complement okay and then you have to use the duality concept so what is a duality concept so the and symbols are replaced with or symbols okay so and zeros are replaced with ones so if you can see here and symbols are replaced with or symbols okay as there are no constants so they are not replaced and then we have to complement the function so i have complemented the function therefore i got this kind of expression let us see in detail with one more example before that i have uh, have took function two functions here okay one is uh, sum of products and the other one is product of sums okay so as we have three min terms okay as we have three min terms here so these min terms are realized with the help of and gates so i have took three and gates here and the outputs of these three and gates should be summed therefore i have took one or gate okay and here we have three product terms sorry three sum terms therefore in order to get the sum terms we have to use or gate okay and these are the inputs to the or gates and all these three sum terms are given as an input to the and gate why because it is a product uh, product of sums now this is what a uh, how to minimize the pos uh, that is product of sums so we have to only group zeros but not the ones we have to consider only the zeros which are nothing but max terms okay so i have gone with three groupings here or three blocks uh, two block size is 4 and one block size is 1 okay so if you consider this particular block okay here the value of a is constant which is nothing but 1 the value of a is constant which is nothing but 1 and the value of b is also constant which is again which is 0 okay but so therefore here we get a b bar okay and if you consider this particular block here the value of a is constant again which is 1 and the value of b is varying okay and uh, if you consider here the value of c is constant which is 0 but whereas the value of d is varying okay so the expression would be a c bar plus as i told you that if you are going with only one cell okay a group of one cell therefore you get will be getting four literals that is a complement b c and d complement okay why because here throughout this particular row the value of a and b are constant and throughout this particular column the value of c and d are constant okay so we have got f complement now we have got f complement now we have to find the duality of this particular function okay so how to find the duality so replace all replace all ands with or and ors with and okay so if you replace all those things then you get 
this kind of expression and then complement the function therefore f complement whole complement is nothing but this is what the expression that we are going to get and this is what a uh, five variable map so five variable is nothing but how many combinations it is 32 combinations okay so therefore we'll get 32 min terms as you can see m02 m15 will be uh, will be occupying one map and uh, the remaining min terms that is m16 to m31 will be occupying one more four variable map so we re we are representing this five variable k map with the help of two four four variable maps okay now here the value of a is constant throughout this map which is zero and uh, bc on one side and d on the other side here throughout this map the value of a is one which is constant but whereas bc on one side and the other other side is de okay now here these cells are that is 0 16 1 17 okay uh, 8 24 okay all these cells are called as adjacent cells okay if you can see the value of this particular cell that is a bar b bar c bar d bar e bar if you consider this then the value of this particular cell is a b b bar c bar d bar e bar therefore only one little is changing therefore these two cells are considered as adjacent cells now let us see the relationship between the adjacent squares and the number of literals okay so here the number of adjacent squares that is 2 power k if k is 1 that is if number of adjacent cells if if there is only one adjacent cell then you will get the number of literals that is if if you are going with two variable map then the number of literals would be two okay if the adjacent cells are two then inside the two variable map the number of literals that you get in the resultant expression is one okay and uh, if the adjacent cells are four then you will be getting zero literals the output would be one so in the same way you can go with n equals 3 4 5 where n is the vari that is n va uh, which is n is nothing but the number of variables now don't care conditions there may be a combination of input values which will never occur if they do occur the output of the output is of no concern so in some cases we'll find some circuits where the output is not defined for some in some for some input combinations okay so those outputs are called as don't care outputs the function value for such combinations is called don't care they are usually denoted with x so all those don't care outputs are represented with x each x may be arbitrarily assigned the value 0 or 1 in an implementation so we doesn't know whether the value of that particular uh, x would be either 0 or else 1 and don't care can be used to further simplify a function so let us see how we are going to use these don't cares for reducing the function minimization using don't cares treat don't cares as if they are ones to generate pi's okay so we have to treat the don't cares as ones for generating the prime implicants or zeros while generating the prime implicants for the max terms delete pi's that cover only don't care minimums okay if you are forming a group which has only don't cares then we have to delete that particular pi that is prime implicant okay treat the covering of remaining don't care min terms as optional in the selection process so if you are going with some grouping if any of the don't cares are remained or left over so we, sh we have to ignore them let us see how to do that so this is what the expression which has these min terms okay and these are the don't care terms now we have to plot all these min terms as well as uh, these don't care terms on the map so i have plotted that is uh, 0 which is represented with x 2 it is again represented with x and then 5 it is again represented with x so as i told you that we have to go with maximum sized grouping therefore i have gone with maximum sized grouping so here we will be getting yz plus w bar x bar okay i can also group in this fashion where i'm going to use this particular don't care okay but the result is same which is nothing but i'm going to get only 
two min terms in the expression okay so we are reducing an expression with the help of these don't care min terms okay if we are not using these don't care min terms then uh, then we we would have got only one uh, one f uh, one uh, one block whose size is 4 and the other block size would be 2 okay another example simplify the function g of a comma b comma c comma d whose k map is shown at right side okay so this is what the k map already we have plotted it okay now again we can uh, go with the groupings in two ways have gone with in these two ways where again you can see we have got only two min terms in the realized function or realized expression okay fine thank you in the next session we'll discuss about universal gates and its advantages thank you